guys we're getting closer and closer and closer to putting up this last bent I'm just working on my own little punch list right now I have uh, three base uh, da, 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 da. I have three braces to cut I uh, as you're gonna see because I'm filming the intro here after I've already done some of the work tonight but I've made room on the slab to put the final bent together because remember we put them up in halves so the first half uh, We'll be putting together and throwing it up here pretty quick. But so all I have left to get the first half in the air. I have three braces to cut, eight pegs to make. That's it. Mortises are done, housings are done, wall posts are finished, tie beam is finished. That's it. So as we continue along, moving down the pike here, uh, trying to get the rest of this ready, we're, we're actually getting in really good shape. Um, Oh, and I also have three uh, three front girts to cut, but those will not take very long. Uh, one of the subscribers, Mike, uh, appreciate it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. You know who you are. Had a pretty good idea about maybe making uh, making like a wooden clamp, like uh, some angle braces to put these skinny slabs in the mill, see if we can square them up that way. And I believe we're going to try that here in one of the videos coming up because that sounds like a pretty, pretty sharp idea. So stay tuned, keep watching, and uh, we'll see what develops. video we discussed the laying out of knee braces and there was a lot of confusion on that video I didn't get you guys very good shots it was hard to uh, it's kind of hard for you guys to make out what I was doing in that video so we're gonna give it another go here um, bear with me a second so remember when I said before there's a lot of useful information on your framing square we're going with a three foot by three foot layout. Let's see if we can even see that. On the tongue of the framing square, you're going to find a bunch of numbers. So, the number I'm looking for, I'm going a three by three layout. So there's 36 and 36. And I know you guys can't see it on there because I can't see it. And then it says 50 with a uh, 9 1 after it. So that's going to be 50.91 inches is going to be the total length of that brace at a 45 degree angle. So you multiply 16 times 0.91 and that's going to get you the number you want. That's going to get you 14.56, which you can round it up to 15 16 So that number 50.91 for a 3 foot by 3 foot layout means I want a total brace length. And that does not include the tenon, that's just to hit my 3x3 three three layout. Total brace length is going to be 50.91 inches. Or it's going to be 50 and 15 sixteenths. So I'm going to use my handy dandy flat laying tape measure here, which I love. We'll make sure it stays flat. We're going to go all the way to 50 and 15 sixteenths. Okay. Half inch housings. 
I need to measure up this three eighths of an inch. And I know this, uh, like I said, a lot of you guys had trouble understanding why I was doing that. But, um, let me put it this way. How do I explain this? When you measure up, so you're laying out your braces into your, into your tie beams and your wall posts. I'm setting them in a half an inch. So a lot of people are, keep saying, well, isn't that a 35 and a half by a 35 and a half layout? No, it's still a three foot by three foot layout. You're just moving the whole thing into, into housings. But to make up for that angle that you need on those housings, you got to measure up three eighths of an inch for a half inch housing. By the time we put our 45 degree angle on that, it's going to turn out to be a half inch long. So I'm going to bring my line all the way up. Okay. I'm going to flop our combination square over. Bring it to the point. And that's going to give us our basic it's going to give us our basic layout on the on this joint here, on this uh, tenon. I'm putting a 3 inch tenon on it. I'll step back here. Alright. So now this end of the brace it's laid out. I'll uh, get the camera a little bit closer on the other end. Had some other marks on here. I don't want to confuse anything. Have my mark right there. And my uh, oh. once again, I'm going to line my combination square up with that line. I'm going to measure up my three eighths of an inch. Okay, I'm going to do this again. Forty five degrees. Just help some nice dark lines so you can see them. And flip the combination square over. So now we're getting the basic shape of our uh, basic shape of our brace end here. Let's see if we have enough room to make this line, and we do. All right, can you guys see that? Kind of tough on there, but it should be all right. So we've measured up our three eighths, and now if I measure from this crosshair down to the edge, it should give us a half an inch. So that that's your half an inch housing right there. I know that three eighths measurement was confusing some folks, so if I can get a little bit closer shot, it can make it a little easier to understand. So again, x out our waist. So what do we have here? This is going to get cut off, this is going to get cut off, and this is going to be where our tenon is right here. And then when we zip this off, that's going to make our spot for the, uh, for the housing. Now when you're cutting this off, I like to go up this line first, so I still have a place for my saw to rest when I get to this line. So I'm going to get the big foot out. We're going to go back into time-lapse mode and we're going to zip this guy out. Well, we're going to 
pack it up for tonight, but there's another brace cut. Um, next time out we'll, we'll test fit these and uh, a couple more to cut and that's the last of the three foot. That's the last of the braces for the first floor. And then we, uh, like I said, we get on to the second one here quick. But uh, anyhow, I can't wait to be doing this in daylight, you know what I mean? These lights are kind of goofy to work with and film with, but uh, anyhow. Hope the uh, hope the brace explanation was a little easier to follow this time. I don't think I got as in depth as I should have, but uh, so we're just going to keep chugging along, and I'm pretty much going to be running the camera nightly until this thing's done, probably. So you guys have fun, and I will see you on the next one.